Robin. Hi, I'm Matt Dubitsky. I'm the editor of the upcoming anthology District Comics from Fulcrum Books. And I'm also uh, the uh, creator of Shock, The Journey of a Great White for Omni Press. That's coming out from uh, that's coming out in next month at Comic Con. And um, what do you want to tell us about um, about both of your books? Um, well, they're both um, research-based books. Uh, the Shark book is actually the journey of a great white shark from the coast of California to Hawaii, and all the things it encounters naturally and things that are that are man-made. Um, it has an environmental message. It talks about pollution and it talks about shark finning and other types of uh, events that happen uh, in the oceans today. And so it's a, it's a book with a message, and it's, uh, as I mentioned, research-based, and uh, it was just a lot of fun to do. Um, my second book, District Comics, is about the uh, history of Washington, D.C., and we have some very unique stories uh, in it, and each one is told with a unique uh, kind of perspective, a unique narrative. So the first story we have is about the history, the first newspaper that appeared in, in Washington, D.C., and we have stories about uh, Civil War events in Washington, D.C., to more contemporary stories uh, like the, the election of President Obama. But as I mentioned, each one is told from a different perspective. With the Obama story, for example, we have the police, the story of the police officer who designed the inauguration badges and for, the, uh, for the event, and you know how he designed it and kind of what, what came about. Excellent. And um, what, what kind of a reception have you been getting for your books here at uh, ALA? I think it's been uh, wonderful. You know, I think the librarians are, are interested in it, um, primarily because they have an educational component and there's a lot of research based in these stories, so they're factual. Uh, but again, I think that they're also told in a different format. The comics format is very interesting and actually uh, I find it very robust and uh, I think it attracts uh, not only um, kids that are, that are interested in comics, but uh, people that are learning English as, as a second language. Uh, as well as adults who, who appreciate the medium as an art form. Excellent. And what do you think? What do you think you can do with comics that you can't necessarily do in prose? How is getting the information about history or about um, sharks and the oceans and wildlife different um, in your books than other ways that kids might be um, getting it? Uh, that's a that's an interesting question. You know, I think a lot of it has to do with the way you uh, kind of present the material. You can present a tone in a certain way that perhaps is it's much more difficult to convey in, in uh, a text form, or you can present it a lot faster than a text form. And I, I think that kind of appeals to to kids in general. They like pictures. They like the the, the, the aspect of comics. You know, for me growing up, actually, when I, uh, I'm of Polish descent, my parents are Polish. And I didn't know how to speak English until I was about six years old. And one of the teaching tools that my mom used to teach me English was she bought me comic books. And so that's how I learned to, to essentially to read. And you know that's a that's a, something I still carry today, even with my own kids. You know I show them comics and they're interested in the pictures, but then all of a sudden they kind of gravitate toward the words. And it's it's just a very a very unique form of uh, of, of art. And um, what is a comic? that either that um, that you're reading today or that you've read recently that you really love or that had a, a big influence on you as a creator. Right. Um, let me think about things that I recently read was um, actually um, the, one, of the one of the interesting things I've recently read was uh, I think it's called The Green, Green River. Uh, it was about... Uh, yeah, The Green River Killer. The Green Giver, River Killer. And I read that recently. And again, it was, that's a story I'm, I'm, I guess, attracted to stories that are based on actual events, you know, the, the art in it was beautiful, it was very clean and clear, um, you know, it's, it's adult content, you know, that's another interesting thing, and this comics cover anything from cartoons that are designed for kids in a simple format to more kind of complex types of cartoons that deal with adult content, um, just like movies or any other type of genre, so, um, that's, that's, that's what I just finished reading. <laughs>